Oh, Chen, what, what can I do for you? We have a meeting. Am I too early? Oh, I thought I emailed you. Oh, I'm so sorry. And I have a departmental meeting in five minutes. I have to be there. When can we meet? Oh, let's see. Oh, this week is difficult for me. And next to... Can I text you? I'd like to fix a time. It's the second meeting you've cancelled. I know, I know. It's not normally like this, but since Trevor retired so suddenly, I've had to take on running the department again and lots of extra teaching. It's not ideal, but you're a very able researcher. You'll be fine. We'll, we'll be in touch. OK. Did you see Emma Seagrove at the Copenhagen do? Yes, uh, she gave a paper on gender construction in Japanese theatre. What, again? Oh, same old, same old. And I'm not sure what's happening in your department. Have you, have you heard anything? Well, they say it's merging with media and business. Really? Mm. Well, you got out at the right time. Shall I go through Professor Seagrove's publications? No, no, her work was marginalised years ago. I think it was quite influential in its time. Oh, hardly. When she gave the keynote speech at Belfast, there weren't even any questions. But she's still read in America. Oh, one or two liberal arts colleges, possibly. So it's useful for context? No, I, I wouldn't bother. Um, there's, there's plenty of other influential material you need. Um, I'll send you links to a couple of papers I picked up. Okay. Read them. Mm? I want to change my supervisor. Okay. Why? You know Janet Brunt? She has zero interest in the research that I want to do. Who's your second supervisor? Ben, third bank. Ah, uh, not a great combination. No, they just argue the whole time. Either I'm ignored or given conflicting messages. But in the end, Ben might as well be there. Janet always has the final word. She intimidates both of us. When I approached him to say I didn't feel 100% confident carrying on the study, there was no discussion. He didn't want to know about the limitations that I was mentioning. He didn't want to hear about the difficulties that I faced. For him, it was black and white. The results are there. We just need more data. Go and collect it. End of conversation. And I found that really difficult because I don't think three years into a PhD, you shouldn't have the ability to have a discussion about what your thoughts are as well. I really like and respect Mike as an academic. And we get on fine at that level, but somehow he's got the wrong idea and he's behaving like a kid. I mean, sending me text messages with emojis, it's embarrassing. Mm. Have you told anyone? No, I mean, I've made it clear I'm not interested, but he won't listen. Last week, he told me he was thinking of separating from his wife and kids. It freaked me out. God, that's awful. What are you going to do? I'm trying not to see him alone for a while and hope he'll see sense. I suggested my second supervisor attend all our meetings, but to be honest, I don't want to be alone in a room with him. I, I've cancelled our next meeting and I said I prefer written comments. That can't help your work. No, <laughs> it's kind of granted a hope. Suppose I should do something. <laughs>